Hello from Teenagers YouTube channel. This is Mark Josie, and today we are going to do a review of this product. Okay, this is uh <laughs> from Bose Breaker Ball, and uh they are a maker of Bose Breaker Ball <laughs> in South Africa. So um yeah, this is the new product Spark Ball. So obviously it's spark and create some. Boom, boom, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's see if it will work. Now, what are these for? Like, why do you need these things? Okay, first of all, it's fun. Okay, secondly, you can be doing special effect in like if you're a filmmaking, filmmaking, uh, maybe you know some YouTube videos, playing with your friends, something like that. Okay, obviously, it's dangerous to shoot at people by accident, the hard shells or whatever, it's going to like go into your eyes. So don't use them on people, please, okay? Um, you can be using them as a scare tactic, you know, if you have squirrels and stuff at the backyard and you don't want to kill them, okay? So these things might go boom, boom and really scare them off. Uh, so yeah, some kind of stuff like that. And uh, you can also use them in combination with other things such as Pepper balls and bricker balls, which you can get from both bricker balls as well. Check out the website below to see where uh, you can get their stuff. Now, they have improved um, a lot since I first knew them. So their uh, balls are better and more looped and also more uh, uh, smooth right now. Okay, so if you're like trying that brand out okay, before, maybe it's not as good. Now they improved a little bit and so you should see different results when you buy from them. Anyway, you can buy small batches of stuff and see how it goes first. You know, if you don't like it, well, no big deal, right? So here we go. Um, for these, you can use them with any 0.68 cal uh, markers or guns, okay? Now today we have a few right here. This is the Goblin Deuce, and it's actually a very low power gun, but I will have to see if this gun will shoot this thing out. Okay, double barrel, shotgun style, and also the Goblin Solo right here, which is uh, one shell, you see, one shell. So basically, this is the shell, and inside, this is the uh, container for the green gas or CO2. Okay, so you inject the gas right here and put your projectiles inside and then plug it back in and there goes your stuff. This is so small, look. Okay, you can put this in your pocket and stuff like that. Okay, but yeah, I know people are thinking, can you use this for self-defense? Uh, well, if you're using pepper balls, yes, but make sure that you know the O-rings and stuff is all in good condition and sometimes they will fail, okay? So critical stuff. Now we'll also be firing with the famous Tipman TIPX today uh, as my test for the high, higher power guns. This gun is tuned to uh, shoot as its maximum power, one CO2 for only one max of shots. Okay, and then we have the, not gonna shoot this one today, but you can actually use this as well. My favorite, Tiberius T8.1. This one shoots 30 joules and it's a really scary uh, amount of power. If you use this with both breaker ball, it can kill. So make sure you know this is not a toy. Don't like shoot at people and think that it's oh it's just a paintball gun. Okay. Now if you're into more intense, uh, like you want a lot of sparks and stuff, I recommend this guy. Okay, the Tipman TCR. Okay, this guy is fully loaded. One long magazine, one short magazine. And you're ready to go. Look at my setup right here. Wow, scary enough. Okay, so yeah. Uh, by the way, that's the see all sight on here. Very cool sight for firearm. Okay, so we show you the guns and you know the potentials. And uh, my idea today is not just to shoot the balls, of course. Now, shooting the balls on hard objects, they will spark, everyone knows. But can I combine them and also use them with lower power guns? That's the thing. If I have a long distance, uh, or maybe a longer distance than my what my gun can shoot. Can the balls spark in the middle of the air or something like that before it reaches the target? That will be interesting. So I'll be doing some testing with the Goblin t uh, pistol on that as well. And uh, so that would be cool. Let's uh, see how it works and we'll go to the dark side right now. Let's go. 
Okay guys, so here goes our guns and stuff. Now I'm going to show you up close uh, to see how the spark ball look like. So just wanted to show you that up close. So basically they are using the uh, RAV4 kind of uh, semi, semi sphere shell. Okay, that's how it looks. And you can definitely see that it's a uh, half filled and not full filled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, the inside is very smoky, like, but it's definitely a uh, round sphere. Okay. So we're gonna try that out. And at the same time, you see right here, we got uh, some 68 cal reball on the right, and the left is a powder ball with the golf ball shaped design. So we're gonna load them up into here somehow. Uh, maybe I, I'm thinking about adding a little uh, airsoft BB inside the shell so that it, it, will, it will back up that uh, spark ball. Maybe it will just come out and spark in the air or something like that. So let's see what happened, okay? So we're gonna try that out now, load up and let's go. Now load it up with the spark ball and this thing with green gas. You can see if I go like that, okay, it's coming out, but not really coming out. So it's uh, not very, very tight fit on normal barrels for sure. I'm going to load that in and shoot. Okay, guys, here goes goblin and point down. See what happens. Wow, that's a very cool effect. <laughs> it looks very, uh, very, very bright. Not very loud, okay? It's very bright. It's like a flash all of a sudden. Like somewhere a magical flash came out. Wow, it looks really fun. I have to try this again. This is so cool. Okay, guys, we're gonna now going to shoot the wall. Let's see. Mong Chi Bina. <laughs> okay guys this time i will put a bb below like this okay and then i will put this thing on and then this one over okay so let's see if this can spark the ball before it actually hit anywhere let's go you can see the ball right now is like this and then even go like that it's not really going to uh drop okay very nice fit let's see if it will shoot and explode in the air nope it didn't work okay so all the powder just came out like a puff and there's no spark okay so it must hit onto something hard now i wonder if uh you see the 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 BB, <laughs> BB is right inside, okay? So yeah, obviously it didn't work just to pop the thing. Now, will it work if I just throw it on the floor? I wonder, let me try. Okay guys, here goes the ball. I'm gonna throw it on the ground with some force like this. Let's see if it work. It doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work. I was trying to like go ninja mode. Basically, I can tell you that it doesn't work. And where's my ball right now? <laughs> no idea where it went, but it doesn't work. Okay, so you need to uh, shoot it with something. It doesn't work just throwing it, okay? Hello guys, so today I'm gonna have six round here. Okay, I'm gonna shoot right here. Okay, right here and see how it goes. So Tipman TIPX loaded, high power, ready? And squeeze the trigger. Okay, I'm gonna step back and shoot, look at there. Ready? Okay, obviously you can see it's uh, some flames <laughs> sticking to the brick 
and uh, yeah, so that's how it works. Uh, I think the lower power actually did better than the high power guns. Uh, more spark and more flare coming out. This one is less flare, uh, less brightness. So use a lower power gun to shoot this is actually better. Okay, so I loaded one powder ball inside and I'm going to put this through the barrel like that. Now I'm going to try to uh, kneel down, close down and shoot at this wall right here and see if the powder and stuff can all go. Okay, so let's go right there in front of me. Disaster, doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so with powder ball at the back, it hit the ball, the spark ball, and the spark ball break in the mid air, but there's no flare. Okay, so you can only see the powder and no flare at all. Okay, big fail. Okay, loaded two balls into these uh, shells, and we've got the goblin deuce right here. So let me just open it with one hand like this. Super duper cool. And load it up number one. Number two. Let's get up. Okay, time to kill zombies. Let's go. Two at a time. Let's see what happened. Wow, two went out at the same time. Yeah, and wow, that was quite impressive. Very quiet gun, okay. Quiet. Yes, it is. Both down. How stylish. Okay, guys, we got some paper target. I'm trying to shoot this guy and see if it will light up the paper or something or burn, okay? So now it's a spark ball inside. Let's try. I have to aim. This is really hard to aim, trust me. Okay, how do I aim? Oh, there we go. Let's see what happened. Hey, okay, give me a second trying to aim. Oh, it went through the paper and didn't spark. Okay, so the ball went through the paper and there's no spark. Let's try one more time. Okay, second time, let's see if it works. I'm gonna like point forward and let's try. Now it lights up. Okay, but it didn't burn the paper, it lights up. <laughs> I hope I hit the right spot. <laughs> okay, so there goes the target. You can zoom in and take a look. I think that's where I hit before, maybe. Okay. Hey, so if you're shooting this thing, be careful. There are all these little bits of plastic that can be all over the place. This one just fell on my carpet and it will definitely give you some uh, pain and injury or bleeding if not careful. Okay, guys, let's try to shoot this guy again. Uh, trying to aim properly. There we go. Okay, fail again. This one definitely went through it and didn't spark, okay? I can tell you that this thing is not good for paper target. Yeah, I hit somewhere here. I think the eight, something like that, okay? So definitely not good for paper. Not good, not good. Okay guys, so welcome back here. Uh, I have one with the shot, right? Now, uh, there goes the spark ball testing. And honestly, uh, for self-defense kind of purpose, I don't see the point of using this because you cannot combine it with shots behind shots. Whereas with the powder, like uh, pepper balls, you can actually do that. Like what I mean is you load up a, a magazine of bricker balls, okay, the hard rounds. And then when you need uh, pepper balls, you put one through the uh, front of the barrel and load it in. So the bricker ball hit, uh, busted that, pepper ball and you have a spray of pepper going forward instead of the pepper landing on some, on something and then explode okay so that's a different tactic now this one obviously we show when you do that the spray of that powder in the air but doesn't spark at all okay there's no spark and also testing it on paper tonight with my target right here uh, I find out that I hit one two three spot Okay, try three shots, only one shot sparked. And I think that shot sparked because they hit the wall behind it. Okay, now the other two shots have no spark behind. So basically the ball just went through it 
and somehow I think it dropped to the ground or somewhere, I don't know. But basically it doesn't work on soft target. So does that mean that, you know, if you hit human or something soft, like if let's say uh, you hit a cloth or curtain, something like that, it's not going to work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so basically it must be a hard target. And also, you, if you throw it on the ground, it will not work too. Now, one good thing is it's not so explosive. That means that you need to really shoot it and not just like, oops, and then the blah, 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 okay? Not like that, okay? So it's not something that you will be uh, very, like, afraid about the thing. It's going to, like, explode in your hand. <laughs> it's not, okay? So, uh, like, if you just go like that, mostly it's the powder inside that leak out of the ball. And, yeah, out of the three bottles, uh, one bottle right here, we do have a broken ball and there are some of these powder inside So it proved that even you shake it violently It's going to break the ball in, in two pieces, but it's not going to explode. So it's safe to Handle okay, not like if you're not careful it will explode in your hand, but you must use a Marker to shoot it. Okay now in my testing I find that my more powerful marker is not doing uh, better than the less powerful marker. Uh, the Goblin Solo shooting at like super, super low FPS using green gas. That's about, uh, if you use normal paintball, that's about 90 FPS. And you see a big spark, okay? Very bright, very bright spark. Now, if we use the TIPX shooting at uh, tuned to 22 uh, to 24 jewels right now, if you use that one, okay, it, it has short, uh, small short spark only okay not a big spark so if you want to cause more uh, spark more brightness using this ball use a lower or mid power or tune down your power okay don't always aim for the more powerful the better aim for lower power if you're using like a normal marker tune it below their uh, like factory setup usually factory setup is about 10 joules tune it down a little bit more and then keep shooting these things and it will uh, be a very nice effect, okay? So basically that's my conclusion today uh, for this product. Useful, I think, okay? Useful if you load one shot into your, uh, like let's say self-defense marker, okay? Just for a scare tactic. Uh, not sure if that will really scare me, okay? I won't really be scared, but anyway. Um, yeah, you can try that, okay, but instead of this, I will suggest the pepper ball as your first round, which is to deter the person. If they come forward or if they don't come forward, they're going to be super fucked anyway, okay? So, one shot of pepper, if you come, I will shoot more, and that is the bricker ball that will bust your head up, okay? So, that's the, the tactic, but uh, this ball, okay, boom, spark. Ah! Okay, not sure if that will really work, but for animals, maybe, okay, not a lot of sound, I mean, like, actually, no sound generated from the spark, okay, it's not like, boom, boom, like that, okay, no, 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 okay, so the marker itself is the sound, this is just purely flash, okay, purely flash, so, will it really scare away animal, I don't know, okay, but we got to, like, get some animals to try, um, so, yeah, mostly, uh, movie effect, okay, and then uh, you will put the thing uh, in the movie and then add your sound effect with the guns and that might look pretty good, okay? So yeah, it's actually a, a, um, a pro because besides uh, using blank guns, okay, blank guns is very loud and uh, this one is not loud, okay, but yeah, real guns, the, the flame, the flare comes out from here, this one is on the other side, so Anyway, if you're into like Hollywood film <laughs> effect, that might work. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, again, thanks for both Brickerball for sending me the samples to a uh, test. As a bonus footage, I'm going to show you how I do uh, the Pepperball trick. This is the Tiberius T8.1 tuned to shoot 30 jewels. Okay, now you've got uh, 8 plus 1 round of Brickerball inside, which is 9 round. And you have no more CO2 after you shoot all these, right? So, for the first shot of uh, uh, your whatever deterring tactic, this is the pepper ball. You put it right here and let it drop here. And then you point forward and then maybe you point more like toward the ground or away from the person. Shoot one shot and that will create a cloud of pepper 
which uh, kills everyone instead of you, uh, like except you. And then so they will be going away or stopping whatever, okay? And if anyone approach you again, you can shoot the other eight shots and they are very, very deadly shots. So that's how uh, the tactic is uh, done. And if you want to, you know, somehow uh, give up the pepper tactic, you can always roll it back out. See, like this, okay? <laughs> so that's how we do it. Enjoy and check out both Brickable. Bye-bye.